Hi, welcome to Elliott Roofing Showroom. My name is Brian Fifeco and I'm with the sales team. Today we're going to go over the good, better, and best products for all your residential uh, roofing needs. First, I'm going to start off with the Owens Corning Oak Ridge. The Oak Ridge comes with a 110 mile per hour wind warranty. If you see here, I got the Owens Corning Duration shingle. The Owens Corning Duration shingle is aesthetically going to look the same as the Oak Ridge. The, the biggest difference is it's going to have a Surenel strip. What the Surenel strip does is that upgrades your uh, roofing system to 130 mile per hour wind warranty. So if we go from the Duration to the next level, which is a real popular product now, is the Owens Corning Storm is impact resistant. It's going to aesthetically look the same as the Duration. The difference between the Owens Corning Storm and the Owens Corning Duration, if you, we were to flip over, is the Storm is going to have a fiberglass backing on the back. That's what makes this impact resistant. So this is going to hold up to your, to your uh, everyday hail a little bit better than the Duration. Every day on most standard roofing, you're going to see a cut three tab. What this is, this is a 25 year shingle cut to fit the profile of your hip and ridge. With the riser ridge, it's going to have an enhanced look. It's made to bend and crease over the hip and ridges. It's going to have a more uh, profound look on it. It is real important to make sure that you're getting a full impact resistant system. And when I talk about an impact resistant system is when you have an impact resistant shingle, you might as well have an impact resistant hip and ridge. And so with that is, aesthetically they look the exact same on the back side. I'm Chris King with Elliott Roofing. Today we're going to talk about wooden shake shingles. Uh, your traditional wooden shake looks pretty similar to this. Uh, it's a classic look and they're on a lot of homes. You love the look but for whatever reason you can't have it, whether it's you worried about insects, uh, insurability of your roof, or price, there's other options. Uh, the first option is the asphalt product. This gets you into a wood shake roof for a low cost and a small amount of maintenance. Step up from that, it's gonna be uh, synthetic. You can combine this in all sorts of colors. Uh, every roof can be 100% custom. Another option is a stone coated steel. This has a shake look. It's coated with a uh, granule similar to an asphalt shingle. And it's actually a stamped steel product. This has class four impact resistance as well. Uh, and truly is a lifetime product. Hi, I'm Jason Martin with Elliott Roofing. Today I'm gonna to talk about our slate styles that you can choose from. Uh, we have a synthetic slate which is much lighter, and it, any roof could um, withstand this type of weight. Uh, it's, it's about a fourth of what the, the real slate is. Then we have the real slate here, uh, traditional. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, so if your roof can't support the weight of this, that's when you would go with the synthetic. The last one we have here, um, it's lighter, just like the synthetic slate, but if you like the look of the real slate, uh, we can do that with and asphalt shingles. So we've got three different versions of the slate. Uh, they, all, they all offer great uh, benefits for your roofing system. So uh, ask anyone at Elliott and we can help you uh, if you have a need for this type of product. Hi, my name is Chris Marlat. I'm with Elliott Roofing. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about uh, that Spanish tile look. They come in very lots of different uh, color blends and, and styles. The, the first style that we have here is uh, clay. It's got a lot of weight to it, but this is your traditional one-piece tile look. The second option, same look, but in concrete. You will use a batten system for this. It has a self-locking system on it. It uh, gives you the same type of look. Uh, the difference is, is it's made out, basically just made out of concrete instead of clay. So the price point's gonna be a little bit less expensive. Your third option here is gonna be your stone coated steel. The back side of it is smooth, galvalume, custom fabricated and designed and formed um, to give it more structure in the actual tile itself. Much lighter than the other two options. This right here is the terracotta architectural shingle. Obviously it doesn't have that same Spanish uh, curve, curve to it, but it does have it that terracotta red to give it that same style and look that you're trying to achieve. All right, now that we've covered some of the, the good, better, best and the, uh, the basic shingles, 
Uh, what I'd like to do now is just kind of go over some accessories and some other products that uh, will go on the roofing as well. Uh, typically in the roofing industry, there's a couple different types of underlayment. There's a 15 and a 30 pound organic, which is what I consider old school. A lot of roofs were done with this in the 70s, 80s, and 90s even in the early 2000s. So the reason that we like synthetic over organic is organic will absorb water. And so when, if this was to get wet, what it does, it gets all crinkly and wet, and then you gotta slice it to try to lay it down flat, which is not good for the roofing system altogether. So the organic, biggest thing on is, I can rip it with two hands, not very durable. Synthetic uh, will shed water. If, if it installed correctly, it can stay exposed to the sun for 60 days without any shingles. Biggest thing with it is it's easier to walk on, it's got a grip, and then you can't tear it. The other product that we put on most of our roofing systems uh, is ice and water shield. And what ice and water shield is, it's a membrane that adhesions to the deck. We like to put it in all our valleys, around pipe jacks, around skylights, around walls, anywhere there's metal, pipe boots, chimney flashings anything like that. And what it does is it adhesions to the deck. And so this will help with snow load and then the water load that goes in the valleys. Typically your valleys are where most of the water is gonna go. So we wanna make sure that we got a good membrane underneath there to hold the water capacity. What this is, this is a corner piece flashing. Typically you'll find these on a skylight or anything, but our biggest thing is we like to use soldered corners. And what happens is if this is on the skylight, the water's gonna flow and go around. Copper can be used in a lot of different areas on the roofing system. They offer copper step flashing, they offer copper counter flashings. Uh, copper can be made for any type of metal. And so this is just a basic, uh, a good, good look, a sample of a, a standing seam for like a bay window over a porch or anything like that. But what's good about copper is again, you can solder the joints and this makes it one continuous metal. One solid piece, less leaks, less chance for water intrusion. On, a, on some roofs that don't have a cricket or a saddle, the water will go on the back side of the chimney, it'll trap the water. And so what that does is the water builds up, either goes inside the house or works around and rots everything out. And so we like to put on a, a, what we consider a custom uh, saddle or cricket. We make it to the pitch of the roof and the size of your roof. Again, we got a solder corner here. Uh, the shingles will lay here. And so when the water flows on the back side of the chimney, it'll naturally go around these corners. And so if water was to come down the wall or anything, it would actually just shed off and then kick onto the roof there. And so this is, uh, this is the counter flashing. Comes in multiple colors. Uh, we can match any color to the roofing shingle, the brick, brick color, or anything that you need. The copper finial is kind of a, what I call a dress up for the roofing system. It goes at the peaks, on the ridges, on the flat lines. And so what we do is we'll cut it to the pitch exactly, screw it down, pop the screws, uh, that are exposed on the roofing system there. And then this will just add a little bit of curb appeal at the point. So today I've covered some of your uh, roofing accessories going down to copper, to custom solder corners, to custom crickets and saddles for the backside of your chimney. Just remember, there's a lot of products out there. So just ask your roofing professional of any ideas or concerns that you have. Thank you.